Welcome to this video about configuring Qt Creator for building applications for our ARM target. This video is in part supported by Blickfeld Company, a company here in Munich which creates LiDARs, high performance accurate LiDARs. Please visit their website. In previous videos, we built Peta Linux with X support. We also added Qt libraries to our Peta Linux. We built also the SDK that we need to build Qt applications for our Zinc Ultra Scale Plus target. In this video, I'm going to configure the Qt creator environment so that we can create Qt applications on our PC and then we can run those applications on our Zinc Ultra Scale Plus target. Before I continue, a small reminder that I have upgraded all of the tools that I am using to Xilinx Toolset 2020.2. Here is our project folder and we have the Peta Linux SU104 folder here in which we have built our Peta Linux and inside images, inside Linux, we have this sdk.sh which is a big file and this is basically our software development kit. In previous videos, I showed you how to build the Peta Linux, how to configure it how to parch in our SD card, how to build this SDK. Now, I have installed this SDK.sh file inside my Xilinx tool folder. So this Qt SDK 2020.2 folder you see here is this SDK that is built along with Peta Linux. This is our software development kit. And this is our starting point for creating a Qt application. We have this environment setup script here. The first step we need to do is to source this script so that during running Qt Creator, we can use the provided cross compiler and the libraries with the software development kit. So I start here, open the terminal, make it a little smaller. So I'm here in this folder and I'm gonna source environment setup script. Now I will go to my Qt project folder, which is this test one folder here. I'm gonna run Qt creator environment. This Qt creator you see here is not configured. The first step I need to do is to define a kit. The kit basically defines the set of compilers and libraries, whatever needed so that the Qt creator can build an application for the target that we want. Here we need to define a create a new kit for our ZCU104 target. The, the kit which is already available here can be used for building applications for our x86 target, basically the laptop, the PC that we have. What I need here is to create a kit for my ZCU104 target. I named the kit ZU104 and then I go through the fields to the rest of the fields that we have here in this window to configure the kit. Now the device type that we have and we want to create our applications for is basically a generic Linux device. For the C compiler, since I have sourced the SDK environment setup script, this compiler is already being detected and appears in the list to be selected as the C compiler for my applications. This is basically the cross compiler which is available within the SDK built when we were building the Peta Linux and this simply can be used as our C compiler. The same story is true for C++ compiler. Now for debugger, I'm not really interested in debugging the application on board from the Qt environment so for now, I select none. For Qt version, I need to select a QMake built when we were building the software development kit. Here, if you look at the Qt versions, you have a list of three basically Qt versions. The last one is the one which contains the QMake that we should use for building our applications. So. Qt5 13.2 is the one that I should select here. My kit is complete. All of the definitions are done. 
I can press apply. I can press OK. Now I can start a new project. Project. New. And for now, we want to build a very simple application. So Qt widget application. Let's select a name for it. Let's put the path that we had for, for our Qt project. And then QMake is build system. I don't change any of these language I don't change and here I want to build my application basically for the ZCU104 target so I select this one select next press finish Qt creator now has created my project before I continue with the form here you see error messages these error messages are not important you're basically the result of a mismatch between the tool that Qt Creator has for checking this language syntax and the provided library header files inside our SDK. So you can safely ignore them. Now if I come to the UI environment, it's basically an empty window. Let's just, for now, put some items on, in our window. We are not interested in right now creating something sophisticated, just something very simple. I save the form, I build my application, this is compile output, and now if I look at test1 folder, this is my Qt project folder, you see the test0 form folder is basically the source code for my project, and then you see build test01 su104 debug. And this file, the first file you see here, is basically the executable which is created and can be run on our ZCU104 target. So I put this guy on our SD card and then we try it on the ZCU104 board. So this is our SD card. This is the first partition of the SD card. This is the second partition. I have talked about it before. And now all I need to do is to copy the ELF that has just been created this test01 ELF that we just created, I copy this guy to, to the SD card. And I have put this in the first partition of the SD card. So I will unmount the SD card. Now I will put the SD card inside the board and we can see if our application runs fine or not. So the SD card is inside the ZCU104 board. I turn on the board. And as I have described to you previously, I'm capable of capturing the output of my ZSU-104 here at my PC side. So I simply come run the VLC and then get connected to my capture card and we can see the output of ZSU-104 together. I open my capture device. So this is the output which the ZSU-104 board is right now creating. Now I have a keyboard mouse connected to my ZSU-104. So I can run the terminal application. I can go to the first partition of the SD card. Um, Test01 is here, and I can run the test01. So this is the basically the first application we, we created together using the Qt environment. This is the cursor for the mouse inside the ZC104. So the application is working. Now, this, this is a very silly, simple application. In future videos, we'll create more sophisticated applications.